So in this video I'm going to have a debate about gazelle palakot. Um, name gazelle actually means um, pledge or hostage and palakot means downy or hairy. Um, I don't know if that's have any relevance but I, um, I've been talking about a fake sacrifice of Christ such as I want to know who the bad people are and um, I want to punish people and well the best way to do that is for me to tell myself tell the world that I'm Christ and show a small amount of evidence and just see who believes um, perhaps wait a year um, to see who who wants to research into it or or you know goes to see who who cares enough to um, see the truth and to drop Jesus and to forget about that and then I'd like to set up some sort of fake test um, to see how sick people are and so that when they don't believe they'll they'll think that you know I'm not God and I'm not going to judge them for this and, and then when they realize that I am God they'll realize that I am judging for them but um yeah my basically this gazelle palakut story is, is exactly the, the the fake sacrifice that I want to set up and um, because of this when I first heard the story I kind of thought that it was a fake story similar to that of Diddy um, I don't believe that Diddy um, is has done the crimes that are alleged. I think there's a lot of people that have been accused of, of being raped. A lot of people have been accused of being a rapist and um, these people are fed up of it and they thought, you know, why don't we set up Diddy, get, um, get his girlfriend to make some sort of... Um, you know allegations against him and then have it drop the next day and then just see who else wants to come forward and make the same kind of allegations and try and make money through suing and stuff and and so I, I feel like he he's one of my angels and God and he's one of my angels and liar for God the Father is his name so um, because of that I don't feel like I, I trust that, that story but yeah this gazelle pa this gazelle um, palakut story is is different because I don't know who this woman is and I don't know who the story I don't know if this is real or not um, I've just watched a video now where there was actually someone who's apparently going into the trials and have seen the footage and um, you know he was on BBC and he was making it kind of clear that that he, you know there, there is all these trials and they'd be going on for weeks but I'm, I'm just I, I'm confused because I'm like well if this is a real story and if this has been going on for weeks why is it going on for weeks you know you, you the woman can't actually testify for herself really because she was asleep throughout all these footages so it's just like it's not like she can be like oh yeah I remember that and oh I remember this she, all she can do is say do you recognize this person no um, do you, did you consent to this video? No. That's basically all you need to do. And, and, and because she's literally just going to say no to all these things, you know, she doesn't even need to stand up in court. I mean, she probably, she might want to, want to stand up in court, but she doesn't need to because it's obvious that this one, the woman in the tapes, whatever tapes you've got, I haven't seen them. I don't know what they're like, but it's obvious that it's rape. And I've just seen a, a, a clip now where the the person prosecuting or trying to defend the, the defendants, why anyone would defend the defendants in this case, I mean, you've got literal proof of this. I mean, one thing it might be is if someone's saying that's not me in the tape and, and that guy just looks like me and if it's grainy and fuzzy and from a distance, you know, if you can't really see the, the face, the, the perpetrator's face very well, then okay, maybe it's debatable. Um, so you might you do probably need to go to a court hearing you do need to show the vit the footage um and um you know maybe the woman wants to stand forward and say you know i i didn't consent to this this is you know this is why would she lie about that why would she consent to this it's just it the whole story is the idea that this might not be rape is just ridiculous i mean if, if you think this is not rape then what is what do you know do you know what the word means you know that that's kind of what i'm thinking so um you know if 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 you walk into a stranger's house and have sex with someone that you have never spoken to, never met, never know nothing about, and, and you just have sex with them and then you leave the house, that what, what else? And they're, and they're asleep the whole time. Of course that's rape. You, you would be ridiculously stupid to think that it's not. And, and I think anyone that would want to defend someone like that just clearly hasn't got their head screwed on. You know, um, so either it's a fake thing, this whole th is a fake setup, and and it's you know blowing up all over the media, all over the world, um, because of the fake sacrifice that I want to set up. You know, I, I'm I'm wondering if you're trying to 
put it into people's heads that maybe this stuff might be real and that it might happen you know i think guys do fantasize about right and, and they do it but would you do it to someone you're living with someone that you've got kids with someone who's in their 50s uh, you know i just I, I feel like most guys who are married to someone want to keep their partner to themselves they don't want to share them with other people and i, I don't know it's just the whole story is very very sick and i'm not saying it's not likely to be true I think it isn't like likely to be, to be, to be true, um, but I, I feel like, I don't know, it's, it's a debate. I'm not debating whether or not rape is right or wrong. I'm not debating whether or not this is, uh, the, the fact that they are debating this makes me question the courts. Why the hell would this not be rape? If, if she's saying that she didn't know that this was happening, this of course is rape. To, to even think that, at the, to even have a slight thought in your head that, Hmm, maybe this isn't rape. Maybe the fact that the husband does have a right over the wife's body or whatever. You know, if if you really think that 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 if you think like that, then there, there is obviously something very very wrong with you. And and to think that the courts might be thinking that is just it's it's making me feel angry. So I'm really hoping that the courts aren't actually just spending hours and hours a day debating over whether or not this is rape. I mean, it, really, really, I, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't think. You know, if this was my case, if I was working in the police officer and I came across these videos, I would be like, well, this is obviously rape. And I don't think it even deserves a court. Like a court hearing, you have the jury and you, you have some audience and, and then you, you prosecute the people. But when you've got something that's literal evidence, it's like having like if you've got a rubber, a, a rubber is broken into a shop, you can see his face. He's done. He's done the crime. And then he's walked out. You know, you don't need to have a court trial. I, I would, I would strongly say that if if you've got literal video footage of someone committing a crime, you don't need to have a debate over whether the crime has been committed because you've you've got the evidence. It, it's only questionable if if you can't really see the purposes for the the perpetrator's face. You know, if she is wearing cover on him or something like that. I mean, this is this is what the whole point of trials is you put someone on trial when you can't work out if this is a crime or not and th and and therefore if you've got video footage of a crime it's not a question of you know is this a crime or not it's a question of this is a crime of course we can see it and then now we just need to work out how much time that person gets i mean what what was their argument the argument wasn't oh i spoke to her and i you know, if if all these men would have said i actually spoke to that woman and that woman said that you know this is fine and and i don't know she had a fantasy about it of just having sex with someone that she knows nothing about and and not even seeing or meeting that person i mean i think that's a very very sick strange fantasy to have um but if that is what happened then they should say it but because that's not in their defense line I don't even think something like this needs to go to court. There should be two types of courts. A court which is there to work out whether or not someone is guilty or not. And then another type of court where it's literally just where you've got the evidence to prove that someone is guilty. Then you don't need a court trial. You don't need, you need, I guess you need to hear the reasonings behind it. You know, um, if, if his reasonings behind this was that he, he I don't know what his reasoning would be. If, if his reasonings was that he was, he was on drugs and he's, he's been doing drugs for a long time and he maybe saw this woman a lot or I, I don't even know that's not really a good excuse. I feel like that would just make it worse, the whole the whole thing. I, I, I don't know. I think if the only the only mild excuse is that he's got mentally ill problem, mental Ill, Ill problems, um, he, that the perpetrators are mentally ill, which I think they all are. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I think... Something needs to be done about taxpayers' money and, and what it gets spent on. And I and I, the idea that there is going to be a, a, a three-month trial of, of lots and lots of court dates, lots and lots of hearings. I know there's 50 people involved, so you probably can't do it in a single day. Um, you know, if you spend an hour on each person, um, it will take 50 hours. And if you're taking 50 hours, you're probably expected to be like four hours a day over a period of, week, of, of a week or something. So... You know, maybe you would expect it to be a week, but literally, you watch the footage, you hear one person's take, you hear the other person's take, and then you work out a, a sentence. That That is all it is. It, you don't need to go to some sort of big trial, big court. I just, I just don't understand. If someone breaks into a, a shop with a gun in, in some, their hand, you can see the crime, you can see it. Does that need to go to court? So, 
it doesn't need to go to court because you you've got the physical evidence of it i mean if if someone's saying oh this is ai this is fake and uh, that's not me and i wasn't there and you know i guess there might be more reason to go to court if if, if it might be fake if, if you've got some evidence that could be p potentially fake or fake ai or something um you know things should only go to court if it's debatable whether or not a crime is a crime or not but if if you've got the crime if you see it if, if it's on footage then i don't understand what the what the court hearings are about and um so because of this i just i, I feel like is there a chance what is the chance that they're making this a big thing um you know i've i've come up with a suggestion for what i want and um which is not what i want but it's um i i feel like it will be a good way to punish people i i've been a masseuse for 10 years i didn't want to be this but i feel like i've been forced to be this because this world is just fucking sexed up and that's all they want and i and i feel like the best way to get revenge on these people is to is to say oh you want your god to be a fucking whore well wh why don't i give your god you a god that's a fucking whore and then i can make you feel like shit afterwards when um when you realize that this person is actually god and and you know i, I feel like i would want to do this out of complete rage but is a story like this gonna make a story like it happening to me be more plausible or more believable or you know i think it will it's a story like this will make think people think well it's happened to her so why not happen to there'll be more people believing this story um and believing and I, I think there might be a lot of support against this because there's a lot of support against her um but if i'm also calling myself god at the same time and giving lots of evidence there might be a slight species like not racism but a speciesism um against me because i'm claiming to not be human and i'm not um but yeah I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's it's like it, 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 it. I'm debating whether or not it's a true story. You know, it's it's easy to get someone to write a script, and to be like, oh yeah, yeah, I've been going to the courts. Um, how are the courts? Well, uh, it's been dragging on, but it's you know we we've seen the evidence, and I saw, saw the video. I don't know. You if you write a script of someone to say and to 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 make out that they've been going to the courts, that they've seen the footage, and and they're going through i mean it would be possible to do that and maybe bbc did that um i don't know i don't know i i know that a story like this is going to make it more realistic if i was to to p portray this to relive this story only have a wax work of me or something i've seen actually a very that baby that was like breathing and i thought was very realistic it was a very ugly baby um but yeah, if you get a waxwork that's like breathing or something, it might be more convincing. And if it's like slightly grainy footage, then you you wouldn't notice. Uh, I I don't know. I I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's annoying when you don't know if something's real or not. But I maybe I'm I should think about this because if I'm planning on setting this up, there might be a whole bunch of people in this same debate that I'm in. Is it real for me or is it not? And I think there's a lot of people that would look at what's going on with her this which actually means hostage or um pledge as well and if i'm supposed to be if i'm calling myself christ and if lots of people are believing that i'm christ or babylon you know they might see this as being the real pledge or the real um uh, hostage um which is kind of the truth i guess um and yeah i don't know you know um i don't know if it, i don't know what what do I, I i could ask for comments but i i never get anyone responding to my comments uh, or at least i never see any comments on my videos i always respond to the ones i see but i don't see many um i blocked a couple of people because they like they like to pretend that they believe and they don't believe me um but yeah this is annoying when you have stories that you don't know if they're true or not um I feel like it's obvious that the Diddy one is not. It's it's annoying though that so many people just are, are believing the, the the liars. Um but this story is I don't know. I I don't feel like I have enough evidence to prove that it's fake, but I have a lot of reasons to believe that it um might be fake. 